The competition is fierce as ever in the Dukascobby Traders Contest. Almost 950 people are competing to become the champion and one of those is Philon from Romania who has been describing the challenges facing traders this month. This month has been a quite difficult one. Many of my technical analyzers were not the result I expected. I am a purely technical trader because I believe that any event uh, capable of influencing the market it will fit in a technical pattern. So I use uh, Fibonacci retracement and expansion levels, uh, RSI, Stochastic and MACD. Thanks to all participants who have supported me and good luck in your trading. And now we can hear from T. Minchev from Bulgaria. He's been telling Duke Scobby TV about a trade worth 94 pips on the euro pound. My decision to focus to this couple was based on the fact that it opened with downside gap at the beginning of last week. After waiting some time to see if the bottom of 8670 from the previous week will hold on, I decided to enter the position at level over 87, 8717 exactly. For limiting potential loss, I used the level of 8650, which was 20 pips under the bottom of previous week. This way, I hedged myself against a potential false breaking of bottom. My take profit target, which was fulfilled, was at level 88.10, a level a little bit under a serious resistance at 88.20 that stopped my, uh, the uptrend for several times. Other trades which caught the attention of the contest team include this 218 pip trade on Euro Yen. The common currency has been gaining in strength against the Yen throughout the week and Gerotod held this position for one and a half days. Trend break 155 pips with this trade on Euro Dollar. The trader decided to close the position at the market after hitting resistance at 142.85. Ace Ace take profit was triggered after UK CPI data came out on Tuesday. Pound Yen rose before retracting back but not before Ace Ace had taken 218 pips. And the period after the release of the British inflation report proved profitable for this trader as well. He caught 153 pips on the Pound Swissies downturn. Now let's take a look at the week's big winners and losers. The trades featured today are easily accessible on each trader's blog. Good luck trading and goodbye for now.